States. I'm on the platform today with Gibraltar Medical, um, a nonprofit organization dedicated to connecting black scientists with communities of color. I am an anesthesiologist and pain medicine specialist. Um, and what I do is I take care of patients uh, throughout the perioperative period. So basically, any patients that undergo surgery, we make sure that they get through the surgery safely by delivering anesthetics and medications. Um, and so we take care of them intraoperatively, so during the surgery as well as after the surgery to make sure that they're stable as well as have adequate pain control. Um, as far as pain medicine, I also see patients on an outpatient basis who have chronic pain and I see them in clinic and then I perform interventional procedures, procedures on these patients who have chronic pain. Why? I chose anesthesiology um, for a few reasons. One, I think in general in medicine, um, you tend to gravitate towards uh, people that you have things in common with. And I found the anesthesiologist that I had met sort of had similar personalities to me, which seemed to be relaxed, uh, but also fun. Um, and I, I thought the um, profession of anesthesia had sort of the perfect blend between uh, being able to use my hands, so doing different procedures such as central lines, arterial lines, as well as intubating patients. Um, but also I enjoyed the immediacy of the results. So if I were to give a medication, for example, I really enjoyed seeing that take effect right away as opposed to having to wait for results and that other specialties might have to do. So the typical journey in order to become an anesthesiologist is uh, you have to complete college. So that's typically four years in college. Then you have to go on to complete medical school, which is four years. After that, you need to complete one year of an, of an intern year and then three years of residency in anesthesia. And then you can go on and practice right away if you choose, or uh, you can do like me and do a one year fellowship. Um, in terms of compensation, there's sort of a wide range. And ironically, the higher the cost of living is, typically these salaries tend to be lower. Um, but in general, anesthesiologists are pretty well compensated. The range is about 300,000 to about 500,000 per year. Um, and I'd say the highest range is probably about 350 to, to 400,000. So in terms of the percentage of uh, black doctors in anesthesiology, I think it's actually pretty representative of doctors in general. So I think about 5% of doctors in general are black. And I think that holds true for anesthesia as well. I think about 5% of anesthesiologists are also black. In terms of mentors, uh, I would say I don't really have a true mentor. Um, I have my parents who are both doctors, black doctors, um, and I sort of looked up to them, although times are a little bit different um, from when they trained to when I was training, so I couldn't look to them for all the answers. I think in terms of who I looked up to or asked questions to, I tended to rely mostly on classmates that were a year above me or a couple years above me that had gone through a similar process, um, in particular black um, people that were going into anesthesia and then black people that were going into uh, chronic pain. So I sort of tend to lean on them and ask questions and what they did in order to be successful. Qualities of people who would do well in anesthesia, I think someone that is flexible. Um, there tend to be a lot of last minute changes in terms of surgeries that happen. Uh, emergencies can come up quickly. So I think someone who's flexible, um, someone who's patient, I think uh, would do well. You deal with a lot of different personalities, um, with different surgeons you work with, different patients you might encounter without having known them. So someone who's able to adapt quickly and, and is patient. Um, I think someone who enjoys a fast paced environment. So um, whether you enjoy meeting people um, in a day, you might meet three or four new patients that you've never met and you have to connect with them quickly and ask them questions and sort of get to know them quickly. Um, or if you're in the operating room and you have to deal with emergencies that require quick action or quick thoughts. So someone that uh, enjoys, enjoys sort of a fast paced environment um, and someone who is not af afraid to be in a, a stressful environment because uh, anesthesia, it can, be, it can be boring at times, but it can also be very stressful. Um, so someone who's not afraid of, of being in a situation where they um, are called to act quickly. Um, so in terms of just advice in, in general, in terms of the medical field or anesthesia in particular, I'd say the best way is to just reach out to different people um, and try to get a sense of what the profession is like um, because it's, it's a great profession. I'm glad I did it. Um, it is a lot of work. It's a pretty big commitment. 
Um, so I think it's pretty important for you to do as much as you can, as much research as you can, um, to see if this is something that would be interesting to you. So whether that's reaching out to different hospitals and just seeing if you can shadow different doctors, or there's certainly different Facebook groups, um, such as the Young Black American Doctors Group, which has a lot of black doctors that are surely willing to reach out and help you and um, answer any questions you might have. So just reach out um, and see if it's right for you. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm glad to have been on here and glad I could share a little bit about my field and tell you about it. If you're going off to college and interested in medicine, again, I would just say reach out, um, do as much research as you can. It's a great field to be in and we need more black doctors. And every time I meet a black patient, um, I can see their eyes light up a little bit differently than other patients. I think it's important um, to have more black doctors, more representation um, for better patient care. So. Um, good luck to you guys, and I hope to see you in the future in the field.